Hi guys, my name's Rhys. I'm one of the applications engineers here on a very sunny day at National Instruments in the UK. I wanted to show you this cool little capacitance meter that I've put together using the NI MIDAC and LabVIEW. So for those of you who've not met LabVIEW before, it's a graphical programming language in which we wire together function blocks. Now, programming graphically is a very intuitive uh, way to program and it's easy to get your head around uh, what a piece of code does in comparison to the traditional method of reading down a long list of text. Anyway, that's not to say that it's Mickey Mouse. You've only got to look at the number of different companies who use LabVIEW to realise that it's an industry standard. So for you undergraduates out there, having a LabVIEW qualification on your CV is pretty powerful stuff. Let me introduce you to the NI MIDAC. Now this is a USB bus powered data acquisition device. It's got a couple of analog input and output channels on it, a few digital input and outputs, power supply voltage rails, but the best thing about it is that we can program it from LabVIEW. Now that allows us to use it as an oscilloscope, um, a digital multimeter, frequency generator, even a Bode analyzer, and the list goes on. Now what I've got here is a plug-in breadboard. And on the breadboard I've built a bridge circuit using capacitors and variable resistors and that's what allows us, um, combined with the frequency generator, the oscilloscope and the digital multimeter on the MIDAC to make a capacitance meter. So let's have a little look in depth at what's going on on the uh, breadboard here. So what I've done here is I thought I'd have some fun and I went ahead and made my own capacitor. It's made out of two sheets of greaseproof paper and two sheets of aluminium foil, 20 metres long each. I've rolled them around the tube to make a cylindrical capacitor. So what I can do is see what sort of capacitance we can get out of this. If I just plug it in place on the breadboard, we'll use the laptop and we'll see what sort of capacitance we can get. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you're interested in how I made the capacitance meter or you fancy getting your hands on the code itself, maybe you're just interested in the NI MIDAC itself, follow the link in the description of the video. Likewise, if you guys come up with any cool LabVIEW projects, feel free to post a response. Cheers.